Hi, this is Dean with Maxi Lift, along with Bo, and we're here today to talk about the different styles of elevator buckets that Maxi Lift has available for agricultural applications. And uh, we've got the CC style and the Calumet style. And we're going to talk about some of the uh, the differences between them, some of the applications, and uh, maybe where they came from, where those two styles came from originally. So, Bo, maybe you could get us started off here of how we've got a CC style and a Calumet style. Where did those come from? You know, Dean, uh, obviously steel buckets uh, came along uh, decades before plastic did. Um, the uh, CC style bucket was developed by a company called K.I. Willis. Um, they were a, a metal forming company and the Calumet style bucket came from a company or was developed by B.I. Weller. Um, they became the two most prominent bucket styles in the industry uh, during that time. And then when plastic was introduced, uh, the plastic manufacturers, Maxi Lift, and some of our competitors looked at what the most popular designs were and obviously modeled uh, our plastic versions after those designs. So if you, you look at the, uh, the geometry of the two different designs, what you're going to see is the plastic pretty much uh, mirrors what the steel buckets look like from years ago. Now we've got two different shapes here, basically. We've got the CC style and we've got the Calumet style. Can you describe just a little bit why did we come up with those two different styles and especially uh, the, the look of the CC, I guess would be the good way to put it. Ultimately, what you're talking about is two different uh, steel manufacturing preferences. The, uh, both buckets have a radius belly, but there are different ways of getting the radius into the belly of the bucket. One is by doing a roll forming process like the Calumet, where you've got a smooth radius that takes the uh, belly out from the back wall of the bucket up to the lip. It, it is a, a smooth curve. The CC version, K.I. Willis's version, they decided instead of doing that roll forming technique, they would use a brake press and create a series of angles in the bottom of the bucket. Right. And they still achieved the same exit angle at the, uh, the bucket lip, but uh, instead now the bucket, instead of being smooth throughout the, the bottom or the belly, as we like to call it, it has a series of angled brakes. And then when we developed the plastic versions of those same buckets, we just followed that same geometric pattern that was popular in the steel designs. And people might wonder, well, why did we start making buckets out of plastic? If they were made in steel and they looked good and they worked well, why switch over to plastic? What was the main reason for that? Well, you know, steel has some inherent problems. Uh, obviously, uh, it uh, when it deforms, it doesn't retain its shape, so it gets hung up in the elevator. It also can rust to corrode in uh, applications where uh, maybe minerals or salts are introduced. But more likely than not, there was a push uh, years ago to get steel out of bucket elevators because of the fear of the potential of uh, grain dust explosions. Uh, metal to metal contact at high speed might introduce a, a spark and might uh, create a situation where it caused a dust explosion in an elevator. So for safety concerns, that was probably the, uh, the uh, push to get that into uh, to the plastic design. Uh, so if someone wants to change from one design of bucket to another, what would you say they can expect in their bucket elevator? You know, to be honest, both bucket designs are designed to operate over the same pulley diameters at roughly the same speeds. So my expectation would be you're going to see almost no appreciable difference in the performance of the two buckets. Um, if you have questions about that and want to speak to an expert, give us a call here at Maxi Lift and let us help you make that decision. Thanks. This is Dean and Bo with Maxi Lift. Have a good day.